Honorable Governor Cuomo, esteemed members of the New York State Council and Senate, distinguished elected officials, OU President Fagan and fellow students and members of Teach NYS, good morning. My name is Betty Jane Gindy. I am proud to be an eighth grader at Mang David Yeshiva in Brooklyn, one of the largest Sephardic schools in the world. I am hum <laughs> I'm humbled to serve as Vice President of our Student Council. I'm joined here today at this Teach NYS Mission to Albany by the other members of our Student Council as well as close to 90 of my schoolmates, administrators, and parents. I'm so proud that many of my community, that the members of my community are among the founders of Teach NYS and have always prioritized making a Jewish education more affordable and accessible to all families. Thank you to everyone here making this day possible. You've heard from You've heard from many of the speakers and community members throughout the day. I want to personally thank everyone who has made coming out today a priority and has demonstrated their support by joining us at our mission here today. Last year, as a result of our lobbying efforts, New York State allocated $5 million to help us get the best possible STEM education and educators in our school. <laughs> For me personally, STEM is a vital part of my education. I hope to one day go to medical school and become a doctor. <laughs> Without the best science and math teachers, this won't be possible. Without the support from STEM for STEM, STEM subjects, many of my peers would have difficulty mastering the STEM, STEM subjects, preventing them from going into careers that would be a major asset to our empire state. Our world is rapidly changing. In a figure reported by the Institute for the Future, together with a panel of 20 experts from around the world, that it was calculated that close to 85% of the jobs that will exist in the year 2030 haven't even been invented yet. Without quality STEM education, the students of New York State private schools would be at a disadvantage and fall far behind. Many of you know that being involved in the student council leads to a very busy extracurricular life. Most of our events are planned, but often we are called to service on a moment's notice. Our student council has hosted charity days, bone marrow drives, helped special needs children in our community, visited the elderly, and we traveled to Florida soon after Hurricane Irma wrecked havoc this past September to assist in the relief efforts. As we all know, it is our obligation to always help our brothers and sisters in need. I look around the room and feel that I'm amongst the best students in New York State. Accordingly, this requires people like us who are concerned with the needs of our community and the well-being of all New Yorkers to stay here in New York and go into fields that are struggling to fill spots in our state. We are surrounded by ever-changing technology including cell phones, computers, and so much more. We know that the future is in technology. We have to keep up with it almost on a daily basis. Unfortunately, we can't keep up without the help of our state legislators and decision makers. On behalf of all gathered here from all corners of our empire state, I want to extend my sincere gratitude to Governor Cuomo, Senators Flanagan, Klein, and Stuart Cousins, Assembly members Morell, Heasty, and Kolb, and all the other New York elected officials for investing in my dream of becoming a doctor, for investing in my dream of a quality education with STEM as the core of my general studies courses, and for investing in our collective dream of an affordable education for our peers, our parents, and for generations to come. At this time, it would be irresponsible of me not to express my gratitude to all of our government officials for their efforts in ensuring that our schools remain a safe place to learn. Painfully, it is becoming evident that in our nation that safety in schools is no longer a guarantee. 
Honorable Governor Cuomo and elected officials, with your generous STEM support, I look forward to calling you in a little over a decade from now to proudly say that thanks to you, Dr. Betty Jane Gindy is keeping New York State healthy. Thank you.